Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to do a georeferencing in the QGIS. By using the topo map, you can download it from the different website. And here I am opening my Arc QGIS here. You can see it here, Quantum GIS. Now I am going to use new project here and you can use this aid raster layer or you can go through this and you can first of all we are going to use this georeferencer uh, tool so for you can check your tool first of all and if you don't have that tool you can uh, go to plugin and manage and install plugin and after that here you can go to layer and go to add layer here and you can add your image file or the topo map here and if you have shortcut you can go to here you can go here and you can check it here from layer panel so that it will appear here and after that if you want any tool that you help then you can see you have to check it here by simply clicking on the area where there is no toolbox and you can see all these panel here so I am going to add a image here topo map image is our coordinate is not fixed here so the coordinate or the system uses here little fluctuating so now we are moving to the georeferencing window interface now here we have to add the same image you can simply see it here from the desktop you can see it here and you have to first of all provide the <coughs> old geodetic system 84 is we are going to georeference it according to the old geodetic system 1984 so I am gonna clicking ok now we have to develop a control point uh, as much as uh, number of control point we develop it is it will develop more higher accuracy so uh, here I am taking four points of the four different banner four different uh, corner so you can see it here I am going to adding a point you can simply go to this and you can add this uh, old geodetic system this uh, degree minute second in georeferencing control point you can simply go like this then you can simply click this and it will show you and you can see the coordinate it will appear here and you can read it inter x and y coordinate that degree minute second and dd are the projected coordinate system which correspond with the selected point on the image alternatively click the button with icon of pencil and then click a corresponding point on the map canvas of the QGIS to fill in the coordinate of that point. And here I am simply giving x coordinate is uh, is x coordinate uh, determined 
by the x axis in the y coordinate by the y axis that means horizontal this part defines longitude yeah it and we have to give space after degree value and minute value and second value simply and for y or the north you can see it here 27 45 and 00, zero second and i am clicking simply yes and you can see our control point has appeared in the gcp table here and you can simply see it here and now i am going to the next corner by it zooming out and moving it to the next corner you can simply see it here No, you can add again a point here. You can add it here. You can simply add it here. And if you do not see the value here, you can simply zoom out and you can see it here. You can add the point over here. and in the y part 27 45 and 00, zero. and you can simply click ok here and you can see our another point appear here and now again we are moving to the another corner point zooming it out and now you can see it here you can go to like this so add point you can simply click here you can see we are going to adding x coordinate for the 2230 and 27 37 and 30 and with this we can get our point here you can see it here now we are zooming out or the taking this pen to move our map here in there and you can see it here simply now you can add a control point now by zooming it to a fixed place and here I am adding it here and you can see it here 27 sorry it's a y coordinate 8 4 3 0 0 0 and y 2 7 3 7 and 3 0 and simply clicking ok here and we can see our coordinate appear there and now we are moving to the and we are turning it to it and now we are moving to the transformation setting here and now we have to do it according to wgs 84 epsg 4326 and epsg value we can get it from the epsg.io website i will put it in the link to description box to so we have to provide a path for the output and I am providing it as geo 
reference and I am going to save it simply now with this you can see it here the residual value gives you the error and here you can see destination x and the y coordinate according to the geo old geodetic system and it is in decimal degree you can simply see it here 84 32 and it it is in the decimal degree we don't need to worry about it and you can see it here mean error as much as it is closer to zero it has higher accuracy and its value increases it will define the low accuracy and we can see we have uh, done a good work here now I am going to start the georeferencing work here you can see it in the screen too or the canvas too now you can see it here uh, georeference is successful so I am checking here if or my work is not saved it will create a problem later so i am checking is the my if the my work is saved or not so after this you can simply go to go to qgis and cancel the discard and you can simply remove this and now add the georeferenced output that we have created and you can see as I have mentioned about it too it is in uh, uh, old geodetic system which has a decimal degree output key decimal degree coordinate so we are going to change it to um, UTM zone or the coordinate zone you can simply see it here you can see I am doing it as projected image and I am clicking is ok and now we have to give a coordinate system here and it is of UTM 45 zone 45 N zone so I am giving it this by clicking it ok now we don't have to do anything more and I am clicking it simply ok now this is converting our image into geo reference image projected image so after that it will give us our coordinate in uh, meter unit you can see which coordinate system we are used in this geo reference file you can see all the info here now we have done our projection part 2 and now I am removing both the images as you can see we have used this data so it is showing this part so I am removing both the images from here and adding again and now I am adding by adding new one by adding new project here you can see and you can see this is the projected image and you can see the coordinate system here it is using UTM coordinate system in EPSG 32645 that means UTM 45 you can see it here and its unit is meter 
you can see it by simply going to properties and you can see many things about the coordinate or the style that we have used in this you can see the coordinate system uses in is is this and layer name is this you can go to this simply now with this i am going to end my video here thank you